What's up? My name is Nick Nando here for Troubleshoot and welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'll be showing you a project that I've been working on. It's completely open source, free to download, and it'll help you improve your gameplay experience for Valorant, League of Legends, and other Riot games. So in the past, you may have heard of something called my Techno Account Switcher, which is the open source project that I'm talking about. Since its original release, it's added support for Riot Games, Ubisoft Connect, Epic Games, Origin, Battle.net, and hopefully soon a bunch more. This is the GitHub page that you'll find in the description down below, and I'll be showing you exactly how it works before I show you how to download and install it. So without further ado, let's have a look at the Riot Games account switcher. Once again, installation will be at the end of this video. If we go ahead and fire up the Techno account switcher, you'll see something like this with all of the supported platforms. Let's go ahead and head into the Riot folder. Upon doing this, you can see my private info is hidden because I'm recording using OBS. And of course, it shows my available games that I currently have installed. I can click on any one of these to launch it. Valorant, Legends of Runeterra, and League of Legends. So how exactly do we get this to work? Well, first of all, make sure that you're signed into your Riot client in at least one of these games. Your Riot login details are basically shared across all of the Riot games on your computer. So changing on one will change them for all of them. I'll fire up Valorant, and as you can see, I'm on Techno ZAYT. Cool, so what I'll do is I can either leave this open, close it, or anything like that, head across to the account switcher, click Save Current, and I'll give it a name. I'll enter, say, Techno ZAYT. Upon clicking Add Current Riot Account, it's now added to the list. If we go ahead and click Add New, you'll notice that the Riot client closes, including Valorant, League of Legends, or any other Riot games that you have open, and then you'll be logged out of it. Clicking the Valorant icon once again will launch Valorant, and this time it'll ask us to log into it. There we go. So all we have to do from here is log into a different account. Simply making sure that I have Stay Signed In checked, you'll see that I'm now logged into a different account. I'm currently logged into Check as Employee 1001. So I'll go ahead and save current, and you can call it literally anything you want. It doesn't have to be accurate. I'll call it ASDF for now. As you can see, it detects more than one Valorant install. This is simply because I moved the Valorant client across to a different place for another video. But regardless, I now have two accounts added. So let's say I'm playing Valorant, and for some reason, I want to go back to a different account. All I have to do is open up the Techno Account Switcher, come into the Riot section, and then double click on an account to switch to it, or right click, swap to account, or select it and click Login in the bottom right. So let's go ahead and log into my other account. I'll click Login. You'll see that the launcher vanishes and it tells us success. If we go ahead and open up a client, Valorant, Runeterra, League of Legends, etc., etc., you'll see that when the game does eventually open up, we'll be logged into that different account. This, of course, does take some time as Valorant likes to relax. There we go. It's deciding to open up the full game itself. And there we go. Now I'm on the main menu. And if I expand the side, you'll see I'm on Techno ZAYT. Let's go ahead and alt tab into my account switcher. And as you can see, Valorant is currently open. I'll double click on the other account here, ASDF. My screen went black because OBS is unhooking from Valorant and the game is closed. Now let's go ahead and fire up, say, League of Legends. So previously I was signed into Techno ZAYT. Now I should be logging into that check as employee account. And there we go. I'm now logged into the different account. Let's go ahead and say, let's launch up the Runeterra one on the other account. I'll click the other account, double click on it to swap to it, and I'll launch up Runeterra. Upon doing this, you should see that once again, I'm logged into the different account and the account switcher works properly. There we go, it's opening in the background, it's opened up fully now, and you can see Riot ID Techno. It previously said check as employee, as that was the last account that was logged in, but now it's simply swapped across to the other one. This is in fact one of the first few times that I've seen it swap across like such, where it changes literally as the game is launching. But anyway, you can see that it works properly. Let's Alt F4 out of this game and come back to the account switcher. So of course you can click the settings button and you can create shortcuts to the Riot account switcher. If you don't want to go through the full launch process, you can get Riot or any of the games to run as administrator. And if we head back, you can right click on any one of your accounts and change the profile image as well as create a desktop shortcut. Doing this will simply place a shortcut on your desktop that when double clicked will swap your account immediately. No need to even open up the account switcher. So it's pretty simple and it does the exact same thing for basically all of the other platforms here. Steam, Origin, Ubisoft, Battle.net, Epic Games and the Riot Game Store, which we just saw. Cool. So now that you've seen how it works, how exactly do we use it? 
Well, as I mentioned previously, it's open source, it's made and published by me and helped by the community. So of course, if you don't necessarily trust my builds of this program, you're more than welcome to go ahead and build it yourself. Anyways, to download and install the Techno Account Switcher, you'll currently have to click the beta icon. Note that if you're watching this far in the future and there isn't a beta icon, then it's probably been pushed across to the main latest version. The only reason it's still in beta is because there's a couple of issues with the account switcher, updating, etc, etc. And the old one over here was built in a different language and is only for Steam. When you get to this page linked in the description down below, go ahead and click this orange button over here or open it up in a new tab. After being redirected, you'll be taken across to the latest version of the account switcher where you'll find a bunch of information as well as the downloads at the very bottom. We have 7z and .zip. There's no difference between these two, just the top one, the .7z file, you need 7zip installed and it's half the download size. I'll download the zip just to show you how it works. So I've downloaded it, I'll ask Chrome to keep it and I'll open up the zip. Inside of the zip, we simply have a folder that we need to extract to a place that we won't be deleting it or moving it. Otherwise, if you do, shortcuts on your desktop, etc., etc., won't work. Now I've extracted the account switcher to my desktop. Opening up the folder, you'll see a bunch of files inside of it. We'll mainly be leaving everything alone in here other than the techno account switcher.exe. This is the main program and this is what shortcuts will be created to in order to actually use it. Every other file in here is just used to add to the experience. So obviously if you double click on this, absolutely nothing is going to happen. Why is that? Well, because we don't have any of the requirements installed. Scrolling up on the same exact page or scrolling down on the actual GitHub page itself, you'll find information on downloading and installing the required runtimes. You'll see WebView 2 runtime, which we can click here to automatically download it immediately. This is official from the Microsoft Store, the Microsoft Edge WebView setup. Don't worry, this doesn't install Microsoft Edge. This is a separate program used for displaying web content. It is not Edge itself. Then we have Microsoft.NET 5 desktop runtime and ASP.NET Core 5.0 runtime. There is only one link and we'll be downloading two items from it by clicking both of the buttons in the image down here. So I'll open up the link in a new tab and head across to it. And as you can see, there's a bunch of downloads here. What we need to do is download X64 under run desktop apps. So I'll open this in a new tab and download the hosting bundle on the far right. This will take you across to two separate pages where we'll once again download two different pieces of software, once again from the official Microsoft Store. Now that we have all three of these downloaded, you can install them in any order you'd like. You don't need to install them in a specific order. Once you're done installing all of them, you'll be able to head back to the folder that we extracted and run the technoaccountswitcher.exe. This will launch up the program in its default state and you'll probably say it's looking somewhat different. Well, that's because you can theme it and of course, more themes will be coming in the future. But regardless, that is the Riot Games account switcher among the plethora of other switches here and the more that are coming in the future. Once again, links are in the description down below. It's completely open source. You're able to add to it, report bugs, etc., etc., And it's a really good experience all around. Now, as far as I've heard, Valorant and a couple of other Riot games do allow you to have alts. So there's not really gonna be an issue with you switching between accounts and it doesn't do anything sketchy. All it does is close down whatever programs are running, swaps out a file or two saying what the last account was logged in as, and then simply fires up the game once again when you launch it through the account switcher or through your start menu or anywhere else. It works the exact same way for all of the other account switches. It's not doing anything shady. And once again, it's open source. You're more than welcome to look through the source code if you don't trust it and build it for yourself. But anyways, that's about it for this video. Thank you all for watching. My name's been Techno, here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!